Hi every- <coughs> Hey! I hope I'm in frame. Okay, hi everyone. Today is the first day of GCSEs. The day is- it's Monday the 13th of May and the time is 9.23. And today I've got religious studies, which is okay. I'm prepared. I'm going to smash this exam. I'm kind of like mixed emotions right now because I'm really like excited and like jumpy and I just really want to get into the exam, do the paper, but I'm also dead inside, so. This video is going to be barely edited, I think. I think I'm just going to put all of the clips that I record together. So then it's limited editing for me. Because I don't think I've got time to edit a full-blown video. But anyway, I'm just going to like record this all so then I can look back just before results day when I'm going to probably be pooing myself with fright. And I can see, hey, I didn't find the exams that bad after I did them. Hopefully. Like, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna bring you along in this fun little journey. I'm hopefully gonna vlog every single week. This is just going to be the first week vlog, and um, I'll see if I'm able to, like, get the opinions of my friends after the exams as well. Make sure you subscribe and follow my Instagram. Follow me at EvieRodriguez underscore, at EvieRodriguez underscore. I'm gonna drill it into your head, learn it better than you know your GCSE quotes. Actually, please don't. Learn your quotes, guys. Anyway, I'll talk to you probably next time, either on my way to the exam, Exam or right after the RE exam. See you soon, bye! Wow, I'm not the brightest, I just watched those clips back and I realised that you can barely see me the entire thing because of the sunlight behind me. I promise these bad angles won't happen again. Okay, so this entire time I've been wasting my time, but I'm going to do like some last minute cramming and revision and then I've got the exam and then I'll vlog my experiences, I guess. See you later, alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Pre exam thoughts. Hi. Um, Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Ellie. I do exams. Sometimes. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous how awkward we are. <laughs> like five seconds ago, we were laughing obnoxiously. The moment you notice the camera yeah. was on, it's like a. You're just fucking metamorphosized. Yeah, I'm like. Uh, okay, how are we feeling? Not Catholic. <laughs> Is the answer to that? Um, yeah, we're about to do our RE. RE? Religious studies? Yeah, I still don't know who Catherine of Siena is, but oh, it's gonna be alright. Oh, I do. Mm, okay. I don't know Weird if we're flex, in but okay. <laughs> okay, so three words to describe how you're feeling right now. Nervous, atheist, fucking piss myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, yeah, same. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you when we finish the exam next. Bye! Okay, how did you find the exams? Um, scale of 1 to 10. Uh, I mean 1 to uh, 9, scale of 1 to 9. 1 to 9? 1 to 9. 7? Yeah. 6. You're not even pointing it at me. 6. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with a 7. That's so you can't okay. your face. That question of the goddamn rosary. Mm. The rosary, worst, worst question. You were good with the rosary. The worst questions. question, yeah, I was good with the rosary. The worst question was the one at the end where it was like, do I look good by the way? Yeah, you look hot. No, don't fit that in. <laughs> I'm leaving it in. <laughs> Okay, no, the worst one was the one at the end where it was like, um, oh, what was it? The one about Jesus, Jesus is no more than a good man. Because realistically, okay, every single question I was like, oh, we learned that in class. I know the three, like, exact points. That one was like a curveball. That was exactly. like something that you couldn't remember. Exactly. For. That was like, it wasn't something where you had set points. It was something where you kind of had to take everything from different, yeah. like, parts of the spec and put it into one yeah. question. Which but it, just it was screaming. fine because you couldn't, like, put down anything and basically exactly, answer yeah, the yeah. question. Yeah. No, but, like, okay, for me, I, I don't know if I've just been undergraded or, like, for the whole year, because like I've never been doing as well in RE as I thought I would be. Mm. Yeah. Especially when it's an essay subject and you're great yeah. at essay yeah. subjects. Yeah. Oh. You just say you off the camera. Don't say that. Of course. <laughs> she paid me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, the worst for me was definitely St. Augustine. I that was only five months. That was quite bad too, but it was only five months. It was an, yeah, that was me with the rosary. It was only five months. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, that's I need all. to check Twitter after this. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to do that. Okay, bye. Let's leave this toilet Ciao. stall. <laughs> Hi everyone, so today it's day two of exams. I've got French reading and listening in the morning and then in the afternoon I've got biology. The time is like 
7.45 right now and I'm about to leave the house. I had to wake up really, really early today because the school is hosting like an intervention session for the French, which is a bit of a waste of time because I'd rather be learning biology, but okay. So I woke up early to have breakfast and now the school's also providing breakfast. I'm gonna have breakfast at school, double breakfast. Okay, thoughts, not too scared, everything's good. I'm going to smash the exams, hopefully. I'm prepared, so it should be good. I did um, like quite a bit of biology last night, just before going to bed. So I covered all of like B3 and stuff. All I need to cover now is B1, and that's like the simple stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go to school now. See you at school. Okay, we're at school. We're about to get some free breakfast. How are we feeling? Free breakfasty. I'm hungry, actually. Yeah, but like they have the free pastries laying there at the front, but I don't want to be the first to go up and get them. <laughs> no, because I, I sort of ate before I came out, but then I didn't. Yeah, I had Cocoa Pops before coming, but I still want double breakfast. I just sat Zuma. That's what I mean by sort of ate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, we'll talk to you after the French exam or before the French exam. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we did listening and then we did reading. Thoughts on listening? Listening was really good. Thought it was better than reading. I'm happy with that. With the listening, I don't really know because it could have gone terribly or it could have gone really well because there are a lot of those questions that are like, you can put negative, positive, or negative and positive. And like, I don't know if I've missed something somewhere because I talk like fast and whatever. I mean, they talk slow, but I still like, I don't understand it well enough. Yeah, it's like one of those tests where you could have just put like slightly the wrong answer. Yeah, and you lost all the marks. Yes. That's what I hate about the multiple choice. Yeah. But even if you have the right mindset. Mm -hmm. But the reading was so good. The reading was good. The fire alarm went off in the middle oh, of, yeah. the, of and the And the teacher reading. was just like headless chicken, like, what do I do? <laughs> They've got to call everyone, everyone stay seated. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the alarm went off. And because we had one invigilator in the room, everyone kind of like sat there, no this one knew like what they were doing. Like a small room with like three rows of people. Yeah, because not many people do higher French, so there are only like 30 people maybe I'd in the room. I'd say like, yeah, 30, yeah. Yeah, so the, the invigilator guy, he was like, he pulled out his walkie-talkie. <laughs> I don't know who he was frantically trying to call, but it was great. And then and like four other invigilators you know, came dashing like, in. running in, like everyone stand up. Yeah, we, we had to close our desks, put our, our pens, pens on down. top, and then stand behind our desks. We we weren't evacuated. If there no. was a fire, we'll, we'll, yeah. we're a bit dead. It turns out it was just some like stupid year, you know, yeah. Or yeah. crap. Yeah, just set off the alarm. Yeah, but it's funny, but like the noise was really, really yeah, piercing. Yeah, it gave me a headache. Yeah, like it, I could feel it, like. Putting it up with sorry. <laughs> this is like a full on arm workout. <laughs> it's actually hurting Can we me. See? Okay. Oh, the, the noise was really yeah. bad. And like, even afterwards, it was like still ringing and like. <laughs> okay, but overall, I'm still happy with it. Bye! Bye! Sounds <laughs> <laughs> we finished biology and it was good. good. Uh, you're also doing that. We're in English now. Talk to you later. <laughs> so guess who's finished biology now? <laughs> You're in the way! Sorry! At the start they gave us the combined paper instead of the triple paper. Yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know until the first time you said it. Yeah. I thought they were going to run out of papers, not going to so lie. So did I, because you, she came along carrying like three and she gave them to the first three people. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, then and I was like, they ran out. Hey, like, well, I don't crap. get to do triple because of this bullshit. Yeah. Like, Oh yeah, no, and also when they handed them out, you could see through the cover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first question. Okay, so on a scale of one to ten, how do you find it? Like a nine. Good. I mean, what, a scale of one to nine. Eight. I don't think that's quite how fractions work. <laughs> how did you find it? I want to say eight, but I feel like probably a seven. That's still good. That's an eight. I'm happy with how it went. Like, it was a really, really, really hard paper, but that means the grade boundaries are going to be really low. It was still, like, hard to the point where it was challenging. Yeah, exactly. Was, like... So yesterday's highlighting was a lot more satisfying than Monday's because I got an extra pair of hands to help me out. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see if I can do that from now on because, oh my god, the first day of highlighting was a disgrace. I'm so sorry for that. Anyway, so today is Wednesday and I have English literature in the afternoon. I've spent the majority of the morning either sleeping, eating or procrastinating. So I've not actually revised very much today but I think like on my way to school I might just cram some quotes in and hopefully good questions come up. I'm gonna give my predictions. 
just in case I'm right and then I can say I told you so and wouldn't that be really cool. Anyway, so Macbeth, I'm predicting a question on like the kings, like Duncan and stuff, or like Macduff, or a question on Macbeth as a whole, like in the play, just like Macbeth. That's my Macbeth predictions. For A Christmas Carol, I'd say I predict... Wait, give me a second. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what questions have already come up, but I'm going to predict. I'm going to predict transformations for A Christmas Carol. Anyway, the time is 11.41 and I'm probably going to leave the house soon so I can get to school and I'll probably talk to you next time when I'm already at school, either just before the exam or right after. See you, bye, wish me luck, bye. Oh wait, first my thoughts on the exam. Um, with English, I think the build-up to the exam is a lot more stressful than the actual exam because like, you don't know what the question is, you don't know if what you're studying is even going to be worth it in the end. But once you're in the exam, like, everything comes flooding back to you, I find, or for me at least. So, I'm trying to stay calm. Oh my god! Okay, so we just finished the English exam, and I don't mean to flex, but I predicted the Marley question. She straight up did as well, no, like she said it to me. Well, I didn't tell you in my morning prediction, because I was still kind of stressing out about them. Because I literally don't know what happens in Macbeth, so I was terrified that like an extract from the very... <laughs> yeah. I was terrified that an extract from the very end of the the play would come up because I don't understand what any of it means but there was literally a question on Macbeth as a whole like I know violence. it was so good yeah violence that was amazing that's like his entire character yeah. I kind of predicted that this morning I don't even remember what my I, I, I'll insert it yeah I'll insert remember. it <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, no, but literally just before the exam, I was like... <laughs> Sorry for cutting you off like 50 million times there. I didn't realise you were trying to speak. I just can't stop talking. Oh my god. I'm sorry. No, but literally just Christmas. before the exam, I was like, what if Marley comes up? What if Marley, yeah, I what know. If Marley I, comes I did up? some revision on Marley as well, because I was like, oh, I don't remember anything about him. Guess who <laughs> came up? It was Marley. It was Marley. I'm literally so happy. I know. Scale of one to nine. Uh, I think like an 8 slash 9, definitely. I don't want to- I hesitate to predict 9s. Yeah. I'm gonna go with 8 because I'm not predicting myself a 9 for anything. Yeah, no. I I'll go 8 slash 9. Okay, so what are your thoughts on the Macbeth as a whole? Macbeth as a whole, I like Macbeth like as a play. Yeah. But no, I don't care if you like the play, I, like, I care about the question. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. It's not bad. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I thought it was a good essay. Not as good as A Christmas Carol, which, like, I thought Macbeth was going to be better for me, but, like, A Christmas Carol was so much better. With your Christmas Carol question as well. A Christmas Carol. Shut up! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> a Christmas Carol. <laughs> dun 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 dun. It's not sad music here. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> um. <laughs> We did a question that was basically like the same thing in English like a week ago. It wasn't like the same thing, but it was about like changes in Scrooge and yeah. it came yeah. up again. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm happy for you, B. I'm happy for you, B. Oh, <laughs> this is like couple hugs. Like but, couple uh, hugs, family <laughs> vlogs. <laughs> family vlogs. <laughs> we got a dog. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> Okay everyone, hi, it's it's Thursday today and it's currently 4.41 so I'm back from school already and today I had chemistry paper one in the morning which, not gonna lie, in the morning I felt really really worried about it because chemistry has like always been my worst subject and history but the, the test ended up going really well I didn't end up vlogging this morning at all because I had to get to school early because it was an AM exam and I didn't want to be late so I got up extra early and I also like did a bit of revision so I literally didn't vlog at all I'm sorry but anyway the exam's over now I do OCR Gateway and literally no one else does the same exam board as me so going through Twitter is really annoying because literally like no one has the same exam board everyone's like AQA or Edexcel I literally can't find anything for OCR and it's so annoying but anyway I'm sorry for not reacting at school as well because I forgot to bring my camera to school but you didn't really miss much also I am so angry at my school right now basically in the morning we had chemistry but we didn't have any exams in the afternoon so like any other normal school you'd expect them to send us home so we can revise for the next exams right no we were in lessons after that we were put into lessons that is the most ridiculous thing anyone's ever done because the teachers don't know what to do with us like we don't know what to do in the lessons so the teachers basically just let us do what we want and like talk the entirety of the lesson like in english we literally just spoke to one another for a good 
hour. I could have spent the hour at home watching YouTube videos or like catching up on Netflix shows. Jesus Christ, that's so inconsiderate of the school. But like seriously, why are we not on study leave? It's so stupid. Anyway, that's my little rant. I'm sorry for not vlogging. Tomorrow the same thing might happen because I've got French early in the morning and then I've got lessons in the afternoon. So stupid. But anyway, that's all I really wanted to say for today. Bye. Okay, so I realized that I went on like a mod I realized that I went on a mad rant there about um, how I'm angry that the school put us, put us in lessons, but I never actually summarized what happened in chemistry. So basically, the multiple choice questions were all super duper easy. I was really happy with how they went, especially because like I really like mole calculations and then that came up a couple times in the test as well. Um, the six marker was a bit questionable because I still think I picked up some marks but electrolysis has never been my strong point. I went over it this morning so hopefully I could still like, I still put down some relevant information but yeah. And like the majority of the paper was really good like we had that exoendothermic graph to draw, I don't remember which it was now and I'm happy with how it went, yeah. Yeah. This time actually see you tomorrow. Bye! Hey, this vlog, it's me, your boy, Skinny Penis. Ah! And welcome to my house. Uh, we forgot to record my reaction because I'm clearly your favourite part of this vlog. But yeah, today we had chemistry, which she's probably already told you. And I think, honestly, I was really worried about chemistry because it's something that I'm not really good at. Uh, chemistry, physics and maths, like, three things I'm not great at. But really, like, thinking about it, it could have gone so much worse and I think it actually went well so I'm giving it like a six or seven out of nine but I'm confident for a seven Okay, so we just got out of chemistry. How'd you find it? Oh, it was better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I love how we're keeping our voices out. We should vlog another time. Yep, yeah, bye. Oh, we started. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling, Ellie? Uh, I'm, quite, I'm actually like high key nervous for this one. Uh, yeah, but like with French, you just wing it and hope for the best, to be honest. Yeah. To be honest, um, I guess we'll see you later. Bye! Oh yes, Bibi. <laughs> this seems to be taking a lot of brain power. It's my hanger man. <laughs> Guess the lesser any lesser. A. Is it the quick brown, brown fox jump swiftly over the lazy dog? Yeah, I got that. <laughs> okay, I got you so good. Alright, so we just finished French like two hours ago, but we couldn't really vlog it because we're in lessons again. I've already ranted about this yesterday. Okay, good. Oh, Jesus. So, how was it? Um, I'm never good at writing. I've literally never been good at it. So, by my standards, I'm I'm happy. Cause like, I didn't flop it. But I want. I'm expecting like a six on writing. I agree. But I think I got like a seven. So that's all. Love you. All right. Love you. Bye. 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 Sorry, you can't see 
Alright everyone, so that's this week's vlog complete. We've finished one out of the four weeks of GCSEs now, so good job everyone if you are doing your GCSEs. Overall, a quick summary on how this week has gone. I'm not like notably upset about anything, like overall I'm still like, I still feel on track to get the grades I want. I hope you're all happy with how your exams are going. Make sure you comment down below how you've found this week. Have there been any subjects that you've done this week that I haven't done? How have they gone? Are you upset? Please don't be upset. You've still got like the other exams to drag your grades up if anything don't worry too much about it even though i'm worried so much about it oh my gosh okay if you enjoyed today's video make sure you subscribe follow my instagram like the video okay see you next time bye